Hello students. Today we are going to solve a question from IIT Jam 2023 and this is basically from modern physics and especially from radioactivity. So in that question it is given that you have a alpha decay process. You have a parent nuclei thorium atomic number 90 mass number 232 is decaying to daughter nuclei radium atomic number 88 mass number 228 okay so this is basically alpha decay process it is mentioned okay and also it is mentioned that you have a on gram of on gram of thorium 90 and 232. Yeah, on gram of thorium, half life of thorium is given. T half equals 4.4 into 10 to the power 17 seconds. Okay. And there's an alpha detector. Count that alpha particle and that count is given. Count is 3000 per second inverse. Okay. So basically, you have to calculate the efficiency of alpha detector. You have an alpha decay process on gram of parent nuclei present, half life of parent nuclei that is 4.4 into 10 to the power 17 seconds. There's the alpha decay, uh, alpha detector is counting 3000 alpha particle per second. So efficiency of the counter that you have to calculate. So how will calculate the efficiency? So to calculate that efficiency, first you have to calculate that total decay rate. So efficiency of detector is nothing but total count rate divided by total decay rate of alpha particle. So I'll calculate the decay rate or activity of the sample. Decay rate or activity. And that is nothing but N into lambda. Okay. Now I can calculate that number of, I can calculate that number of parent nuclei because you have on gram of parent nuclei and mass number is 232 now if i apply that molar concept so according to molar concept that 232 gram thorium will con contain avogadro number of nuclei okay it means on gram of thorium will contain that number of nuclei that is your n and that will be 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 232. Okay. Also, I can calculate this lambda because lambda is somehow related to half lifetime and that is nothing but 0.693 divide by t half and that is 4.4 into 10 to the power 17. So just I'll sub uh, substitute that lambda and n here, I'll get the decay rate or activity of the sample. Okay, so the activity of the sample will be N, N is nothing but here, you will have 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 divided by mass number 232. And you have a lambda that is 0.693 by T half that is 4.4 into 10 to the power 17. Okay. So if you calculate, you will get this number approximately 4088 per second inverse. So there is a production of alpha particle per second 
this many number of alpha particle is producing. And your detector is counting how many uh, alpha particle that is 3000 second inverse. It means the efficiency of that detector. Efficiency of the detector will be nothing but total production, oh, sorry, total count rate of detector that is 3000 divided by total production of alpha particle that is 4088. If you calculate this number, you will get approximately 0 0.73. So this will be the efficiency of alpha detector. Okay, thank you very much.